Welcome back. South Africa faces a critical challenge in STEM education. In 2023, only 262,016 learners wrote mathematics in their matric exams, with a mere 6% of the entire matric class passing mathematics with a score of 60% or higher. Now, this stark reality underscores the urgent need for innovative solutions to enhance STEM literacy and bridge the gap between high school and higher education. So, Stimulator is a visionary virtual platform designed to ignite curiosity and foster a deep interest in science, technology, engineering and mathematics STEM amongst young learners. As a leading advocate for science and technology education, the NSTF is proud to present this free educational tool to empower the next generation. Joining us virtually to discuss this is the chief instigator at Stimulator, Richard Gunderson. Very good morning to you, Richard. Thanks for joining us. Welcome. Good morning, Superior. Yes, nice to be here. Thank you. Let's get into granular detail about what some of the challenges faced by South Africa in terms of the STEM education are. Yeah, you've read out some fairly alarming statistics there. And uh, yeah, it's been going on for a while and I think it's been getting slowly worse. And the NSTF is a, an umbrella organization representing the majority of organizations in science and technology. And I sit there as, as a semi-retired engineer. And a couple of my colleagues have got together and sort of said, you know what, we've been visiting schools, we give careers guidance, but we're only scratching the surface of the problem. We need to do something a bit more 21st century. And uh, that's where we slowly conjured up this whole idea of an online facility which will be available to the to the youth of the country nationwide and uh, certainly to those who are connected but we also do a version on a memory stick so we can actually get it into rural areas as well and uh, it served to create a, an awareness of the career opportunities in science and technology but it went further than that and it's caught us off balance because <laughs> it's become quite a mammoth project now mm. and uh, it's, it, it's, it's an appetizer. It's actually something that, it's why we call it the stimulator, because it actually is there to stimulate an interest in STEM. Mm -hmm. So a world that people were quite sort of nervous or cautious or ignorant of, we're trying to actually sort of open a few windows, show people inside what's going on. And uh, we came up with this landscape that you're looking at right now. And uh, that basically covers a, a large portion of what the, the general public get to see. Uh, but we take them inside everything, and I'm hoping maybe we get a minute or two, I'll take you for a quick wander inside the stimulator and give you an idea what actually we, we are able to portray. Yeah. So uh, that's the background. Yeah. Yeah. Let's talk about some of the innovative solutions offered by STEM that bridges the gap between, you know, high school and higher education. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> what the, the problem area is in, in high school when children start making choices about the subjects and maybe a couple of years later they suddenly open their eyes and want to be doctors and engineers and unfortunately they drop maths or science or both uh, and that, that's pretty irreversible. So we're really very keen to, and that's really why we've got this whole program on for this youth month. We thought this was quite a, a, a nice opportunity to, uh, to make a big splash. We've, we've been at it for a couple of years it's got a level of maturity now which is quite respectable and uh, we want to grow the audience and there's a huge audience to be gathered out there there are the, the kids themselves uh, obviously they are the target audience but the parents involved with them the teachers involved with them i mean part of the launch today is that we've added a school into the into the landscape I hope to complete that with teacher guidance but more uh, not only is, is a stimulator tool to education and then all content requires contributions from 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 the country from companies who are actually engaged in all these activities whether it's power generation planning, whether it's factory productions or then uh, they can contribute content we, we, we our models have been at wikipedia with the, the backbone we built the, the structure now, now we want to go get get the world at large to contribute to the STEM later. I can assure you, it's just unique. I haven't seen anything like it worldwide, and we're very proud of it. And now we're using Youth Month as that opportunity now to uh, to 
to make a, to make some noise. Richard, the, the line is not the greatest, but uh, you speak of an audience that would benefit from this initiative under you know under the auspices of STEM, but. Is this initiative, is this project tailor-made uh, to ensure that, that that particular audience, including parents, you know, do, are, are capacitated in terms of rendering the assistance to learners? We hope so. I, and again, I keep saying this is a bit of an appetizer. I grew up with a, to my bed called How Things Work. Mm -hmm. uh, my, my, my kid was like William Smith on TV with Math and Science, with, with those programs. And uh, so we put a type of content into the stimulator to try and actually, uh, as I say, small role. A lot of material out there, and the stimulator provides a actually attach good material from, from other sources. So we're very reliant on, on partnerships in this whole process. The stimulator can't be a standalone entity. You need input from a number of organizations. And let's now talk about the significance of this initiative. Uh, it's the kind of impact it has on the youth and how it sort of aligns with the NSTF's mission to enhance STEM education in our country. So, I, I guess what worries me is when you start looking around the structure uh, deteriorating and we talk about not just a lack of money to fix the infrastructure, but a lack of skill for, to do that. And uh, we're hoping that all of this will slowly feed into the system. So, uh, I don't know if you're going to give me just one minute just to quickly walk you through a couple of examples of what the stimulator does, because it very much needs to talk for itself in, in one way. All right, Richard, I'm afraid we're going to have to end it there, but thank you so much for sharing your thoughts and your insights with us. We do appreciate your time. Pleasure, thank you. Thank you. That is Chief Instigator at Stimulator, Richard Gunderson, talking to us about Stimulator, a visionary virtual platform designed to ignite curiosity and foster a deep interest in science, technology, engineering and mathematics amongst young learners.